There are many diseases that can be labeled chronic or non-communicable. For the purposes of global focus at this time, we are dealing with four. There are the cardiovascular diseases, heart disease and stroke. There is diabetes. There is chronic respiratory disease and there is cancer. Those are the four. They are becoming more prevalent at this time because of our changes in lifestyles, because of the change in environmental conditions. They are killing more people at an earlier age. Countries that will are spending and will have to be spending considerably more of their budget to deal with these problems. The tendency has been to think of them as diseases of older persons in developed countries. Myth. Not true. There are diseases that affect the young increasingly at a younger age and they are diseases of all countries. of many of diseases takes place very early on. We know now that when you are born, you of, there is often a predilection or predisposition to have these diseases, and that predisposition is affected by the external factors. It's the possibility of influencing behavior is very strong at a time when people tend to adopt these unhealthy behaviors. So we need to focus on the young because these diseases affect them and because the possibility of adjusting the risk factors is a very great one at that age group. My name is Daniel Ayela Bola and uh, I am 23 years old. I stay in Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah, I started drinking at the age of around 14. You want to be the coolest in school and so I tended to join the group that was cool and that used to drink, uh, used to drink a lot in school. I was suspended from school almost a million times because of uh, my drinking. And also it affected my studies a lot. My final grades in high school were not so good. Actually they were not good at all. If I had to ask governments to do one thing, it would be to address the issue of tobacco seriously. Legislation and regulation. And in that context, these are the things that we're asking governments to do now. We're asking governments to adopt what we call a whole of government approach, and not only the health sector, but other sectors in government to be involved. must act now to control the growing epidemic of non-communicable diseases as more and more people are affected at an ever younger age. What is sad is that these chronic diseases kill many young people who will be the next generation leaders and who will be a productive uh, generation and therefore we must do more to prevent these chronic diseases. Four risk factors, tobacco use, poor diet, physical inactivity and harmful use of alcohol contribute to more than 36 million deaths each year. Of these, 9 million die before they reach the age of 60. Millions more suffer with increased and prolonged levels of disease. But these diseases are about more than individual health. They also pose enormous economic and development challenges damage productivity and drive people into poverty. Nine in ten people who die from non-communicable disease before the age of 60 come from low and middle income countries and this has very serious implications. 
Such implications include loss of breadwinners for families, reduced productivity and poverty. But it's not all bad news. Many of the risks and consequences of non-communicable diseases are preventable. Solutions do exist. Things can and are being done. There are preventable and cost-effective solutions that are affordable to all countries. Measures to reduce tobacco use and the harmful use of alcohol, reducing salt content in the foods people eat to reduce high blood pressure, and the treatment of cardiovascular diseases and diabetes. These are examples of best buys in public health terms. We're not starting from square one. Already we have the vision and the tools to prevent NCDs and reduce the risk factors. This WHO action plan offers six objectives to plot a way forward. Key objectives of the action plan are to raise the global and national priority of NCDs, promote all of government involvement and ensure action against these diseases features on the development agenda. To be successful, the plan will need commitment at all levels of society and from all sectors. First, though, it will need leadership from government. The health sector can gather evidence of the harm, including the cost to society. But the health sector cannot do everything. It is up to other sectors to introduce the policies and the legislations and confer protection.